Did the center, creating the center, help you create Arlecchino? I believe it did. I think it puts in perspective the feeling that he has, if that makes sense. It, everything for him is driven by his stomach, for his love for food. So it makes sense to put your center there. And to add the physicality of it, if you're constantly crouched down where your center is, it makes it so you have that zani lowness. And you can't be tall, high, and mighty. You always have to be down here. And by constantly bringing it back as your center here, it creates that for you without even having to think about it. And on top of that, you could always go back with your center being in your stomach to food. If you ever drop a line, need to improv something. With Arlecchino, if you go back into food, <laughs> it's endless. Everyone eats, especially him. So, yes, it did help very much. And what about bonding with your mask when you created your mask? How did you feel about it when your mask was born? I, I feel like I can't fully get into the character of Arlecchino without my mask on. Especially this one, it fits because it was molded to my face. I don't worry about it falling down. I don't worry about it going sideways or not being perfect because it is perfect for my face. And when I'm trying to show people or if someone asked me to be Arlecchino without my mask, I, I just kind of can't fully get into it. You know, I feel ridiculous. I feel like I'm doing these things and people are looking at me like I have three heads, but with the mask on, it's something that I don't even think about. It's just, it's him. It's not me, it's him. You know, this, this mask is its own character, its own person in itself. And we have a relationship that when I put it on, I'm going to give in to him, 100%. So. Put it on, my friend. Please, beautiful job. <laughs> and when he puts my beautiful face back on, I trust him that he is going to give 150%. <laughs>